Hey, collective. Y'all, I just caught a glimpse of my big ass in the mirror, and I'm not going to lie, it kind of pissed me off and got me to thinking, why in the world would anyone pay for a big ass? I'll never understand that shit, but whatever. <sighs> 50s, man, I tell you, you don't lose weight easy in your 50s. Woo. This message might resonate with someone. I don't know. He wants you all to himself all the time, and this frightens him. Here we go again. I think this card came out yesterday. Whoever this is, they like your big ass, if you have a big ass, and if you don't, they still like it, and they're frightened. <laughs> I'm in rare form. Don't mind me. Your abundance is increasing. Continue to do the work. Hallelujah. I'm pretty sure this card came out again yesterday. Y'all, whatever it is that you're doing, keep doing it. Keep doing it. They want to make amends. You can trust them now. There's someone that you likely are separated from. Maybe this was a friendship, a love ship a business, ship, something. There is someone that wants to make amends with you. This could even be somebody that you don't know that well, that you did business with. Something went wrong. You stopped communicating. Now this person wants to come back in. They want to have a discussion with you. They see that your abundance is growing. Someone or more than one person knows that your abundance is increasing. Your Becoming more of a hot commodity collective. More of a hot commodity. And there is someone that's very frightened by their feelings for you. Your abundance is increasing. Courtship. See? Here we go again. I'm starting to pick up on that, that funky energy that I don't like reading, but here it is. I can feel it coming through. Courtship, your abundance is increasing. He wants you all to himself. Ay, ay, ay. Family room is at the bottom, followed by mature woman. Bad health. There's someone in bad health. Courtship, someone wants to make amends with you someone wants to be in a relationship with you you could be entering a new business relationship that is going to increase your finances i really feel like the collective is about to hit new levels when it comes to monetary gain like 2023 which is a seven was the year to like just work everything out maybe rest up because 2024 is going to launch you forward into magnificent things that's going to require a lot of your energy a lot of your time a lot of focus so yeah what's this change it's in the reverse someone hasn't changed they want to make amends with you you can trust them now you can trust this person now oh official person Clarifying, you can trust this person now. Despair, whoever this is, this official person, you could be this official person. This person sees you as their official person. They're in despair, journey, distant horizons, imprisonment, poverty's in the reverse. I could have sworn I put this card in the upright. Mature man, change. So there's... A mature energy that has made some drastic changes in their life. They could be uh, going through a really difficult time right now. Someone is in a lot of despair because they miss you or they crave you. One or the other or both. Main, female, great fortune. Someone sees you as a great fortune. Huh. They see your spirit. Your spirit is shining through. Why is courtship here? Samaritan Child Divine This is all about you collective <clears throat> Liberator And your energy 
Yes, goddess, student, destroyer, companion. You have withstood a lot of uh, complex, complex. Oh my gosh, I'm getting a maze in my mind. Like you've had to, it's almost like the Hunger Games. You've had to do a lot of uh, defense, a lot of off offense, offense. I can't talk. You've had to fight. You've had to swing your sword here and there. Like you've had to flip. You've had to run backwards, forwards. You've been in a maze and you're coming out of that. You're liberating yourself, your soul, your higher self is liberating your physical vessel, launching you forward. Samaritan, the light is refined your capacity to help those you would prefer to ignore. So there is someone that needs your help that you aren't that interested in assisting. You might have assisted this person in the past and they disappointed you. Someone disappointed you in some sort of relationship. <clears throat> Samaritan, why is this official person here? Midas, Miser, and King. Those are two very interesting cards to have to come out. But if I go with the light attribute and see, we've got the green here too. This corresponding green heart chakra energy, entrepreneurial or creative ability to turn anything to gold, delight in sharing life's riches, your abundance is being increased your riches and then we've got king so i feel like this official person is this king this this uh benevolent leader benefiting those in in your charge you could work for this person you worked with this person you could be working with this person in the future you might have had to really hold on tight to your money this person might have uh been very focused on their money, this official person, and they're coming out of that. They want to give to you. Someone wants to give to you, which is perhaps very foreign. Maybe you're someone that has always just been the giver, and now there is someone that is spiritually um, equal to you that wants to come in and give. They see you as a creative force. They want to partner with you. They see you as not lucky, but just razor sharp intuitively. Your intuition guides you and you allow that to happen. Huh. This is interesting. Seeker, the light attribute is thirst for wisdom and truth wherever they are. You certainly have a thirst for um, ancient wisdom. You could be listening to a lot of podcasts, doing a lot of reading, increasing your vocabulary. There's something about language you might be curious about. Hmm. This person is seeking out your divine wisdom. They see you as very spiritually tuned in, maybe on a different level from what they're used to functioning on and or the people that they have been surrounded with. Maybe you're like this breath of fresh air. This person knows that they can uh, have some really serious, deep conversations with you. This is not a shallow person, energy, this official person, detective, gambler, queen and father. Those are interesting, child nature, networker. So this person has done a lot of research on you. They know, yeah, see, gambler. What was I just saying? Willingness to follow intuition even when others doubt you. This person knows that about you. And then this queen matching this king. Very interesting. I love it when the cards kind of reiterate what I've already said. It gives me great joy. Get the tarot, Samaritan. You know, when the readings are like this and they're just like at a higher frequency, I get nervous. I kind of want to shut them down. I don't want to keep shuffling because I know some karmic energies will likely come through because we are at uh, 
the end of the year and we are in mercury retrograde i believe so let's just keep going i must be brave you have to be brave collective about these new changes that are occurring in your life samaritan Two of Swords. This card came out yesterday, and then we've got the Four of Cups here. Huh, so, there are some offers coming through that you will have to refuse, but there are also others that you are going to have to consider very carefully. Um, do your due diligence. Then this two of swords here we have truce and they want to make amends with you is over here so there is someone that wants to call a truce again this feels like two different energies two different people very focused on you both wanting to come toward you yeah damn being torn between two relationships. You're going to have to choose between two people. Yeah. Yeah. Someone's very bored in their current relationship. That's why they got a lot of focus on you. Hmm. You bring, you are the life of the party. Your energy is radiant. Why is the king here? King. I just heard King of Sorrow, Sade's song, King of Sorrow. I'm not going to torture y'all with my singing, but that just came through. King of Sorrow, the world, success, achievement, travel. Yes, you're going to be very successful with this person. You could be this official person reaching a higher level of not just consciousness, but just your overall existence is changing. You're freeing your heart. Someone's heart is becoming free, lighter. This is lovely. 21. Completion. Cycles completing, closing out. Karmic cycles. Six of Pentacles. Strength. Yeah, somebody wants to give to you. They see you as being incredibly strong, the fool behind strength. And then we've got this Ten of Swords. Some more confirmation that things are closing out. And then we've got this King of Swords and the Star Aquarius energy. Hmm. Why is Midas Miser here? Okay, so the Four of Cups came out. Depression. Depression is standing out to me in this card because we did see the despair. So, <clears throat> the longer you're apart from this person, they feel like they're not going to be able to complete whatever cycle this is that has them feeling out of sorts. Hmm. Huh. You're like the end game. Someone sees you like their end game, their new beginning. Huh. This person isn't going to play any games with you. They're going to be very upfront. And that's because you are very upfront and it's something that your energy commands. Yep. Let's get another roll with a different tarot deck. Two of Swords. Nine of Pentacles, and it kind of came out sideways and did all kind of flipping. Acquisition, increased abundance. Samaritan. It's sideways. So this just kind of gives me the impression or the feeling that you are uh, coming out. If you're single, you're going to be coming out of 
the energy of doing everything by yourself. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And see, with the Nine of Pentacles upright, I mean, that is a abundance in and of itself. It's not the Ten of Pentacles, but it's still being stable, financially speaking, is sideways. Your abundance is in the process of increasing. Let's get another card for this Nine of Pentacles. Five of Cups. Someone regrets not sticking it out with you. Could be a business partner. Nine of Pentacles sideways. Oh, Lord, how mercy. Four of Wands, and it flipped on to the official person upside down. I was using this to clarify the Nine of Pentacles. And then we've got the Emperor and the Seven of Swords and the Star. So this could be someone that you did business with and they weren't... Uh, I'm not going to say they weren't honest, but they were... <clears throat> You might not have gotten the payout that you should have gotten. Something like that. This person could be going through some karma because they were supposed to operate differently with you and they didn't. They didn't know. Well, look, we got 21 and 22. I just now noticed that. That's significant. What does it mean? Hmm. Hierophant. <clears throat> this person's still married. Married, still married, coming out of a marriage in a home that's very uh, unpleasant to exist. She's not sharing the same bedroom, but they have to share the kitchen and very uncomfortable. Get a four of wands and reverse clarifier. Please and thank you, spirit. Six of wands. Knight of cups. Ace of swords. Hermit. King of swords again. Ace of pentacles. Four of pentacles. I'm feeling like this king right here is this king of swords because he keeps showing up. So, Ace of Swords, they know the truth about you. This could most definitely be a divine counterpart. They want to make an offer to you. They want to come in fast. I feel like this person is watching you. I'm feeling like this person is watching you. I'm not seeing the Page of Swords, but they're watching. Yep. Ooh, what did I say? Three of, three of Pentacles behind the Four of Pentacles. This person is watching you. Yes, they want to stop watching you. They want to come in. Page of Cups. They want to come in with a small offer. They want to test the water with you. They want to be successful with you. They didn't believe in you. Someone didn't believe you could pull something off, and you did. Oh, yeah, you did. You most certainly did. I just got to chill. Oh, my gosh. Okay. The world. The world. This energy is wild, man. What did I, didn't I tell y'all? Okay, I gotta stop. My, I have a teenager that sleeps late. <laughs> king of Swords. Clarifying the world with the king here. This could definitely be two masculines or even three, but I feel like this is all one. The sun. Four of Swords. This person is healing. Someone is healing and they want to want you to know that you can trust them now spirit wants you to know that you can trust this person so let's just say if this person were to approach you now right like real time now you would not trust them whatever dealings you had with this person you didn't like how things went down and you don't you don't trust this person yeah yep Knight of Swords, Six of Cups, could definitely be a past person. 
And then we've got the Three of Cups behind, the Six of Cups, and the Knight of Wands. Yeah, this is another person too. Seven of Cups, the same old delusional whack job energy that knows you got some, uh, some coin stacking up. They know you're stacking your coins. No, we're not going to read that. It's not showing up all the way. Official, no, no, no. Four of Cups. Four of Cups. Whoa, six of pentacles. I've been loving the six of pentacles card lately. King of pentacles, queen of cups, art. Whoa. Whoa. They're all in the upright, so you could be a just very captivating. You've got a captivating, mesmerizing energy. There's a lot of blue here. Um, you love nature. You've got a lot of love in your heart for your family. You're mystical, alluring. There is a king of pentacles here that has their eye on you. They've been holding on to this large coin. They want to, uh, you've motivated this person. You've motivated them. Or this could be two different energies that are perhaps partners. Hmm, I'm not sure about this. Hold on. Hold on. Let's start from here. We're going to clarify this Six of Wands. Whatever God wants you to see, you will be shown. It flipped over there. It flipped over here with, with these three cards. And I'm going to put it over here clarifying the Six of Wands. So perhaps you feel this victory coming, but it hasn't all the way manifested just yet. You see it trickling down. You will see everything in due time. She resents your beauty and intelligence, not your friend. You're seeing that about someone. The reality is someone that you thought was your friend, your ride and die, ride or die, comrade and shenanigans is not your friend. They're jealous of you. They don't like how smart you are and how you bounce back always. Nine of Pentacles sideways. <laughs> Look at that. You will rule them with an iron scepter. You will dash them to pieces like pottery. You're not playing. You are not playing. Your abundance is increasing. You have done the work. You have kicked shadows deep down into the abyss. Okay? Pieces of pottery. Dashing. Shattering. They want your forgiveness. They miss your light. They want to make amends. There is more than one person that wants to come back into your energy. And it really is like, it's desperate. There's a sense of desperation here. Yep, look. Arise, oh Lord, deliver me. Oh my God, strike all my energies in the jaw. Break the teeth of the wicked. These people are getting attacked by your ancestors, your spirit guides, your galactic protectors they're getting their asses handed to them whatever was done to you it is being made right it is being made right by the divine and going forward your experiences are going to be way different no more hunger games for sure <clears throat> four of wands in the reverse <sighs> they want to sabotage your sobriety Ooh. Don't let them in. This this right here makes me want to start cussing. This makes me so mad. I'm not even lying. There's something going on with my temperament. I was in Target this morning and I had my own bag and the cashier, I went to give her the bag and she goes and she puts it at the end of the counter. And my whole thing is like, why can't these MFs 
bag your stuff when you have a bag. This isn't Aldi, you know what I'm saying? And then after she rings me up, she walks away and then she comes back and gives me my receipt and it's like, happy holidays, have a nice day, da, da, da. And it was so phony and fake. I just, I had to just catch myself and I just said, thank you versus what was about to come out of my mouth. And it seems like rather exaggerated or whatever, but when you're energy sensitive, you're picking up on everything and sometimes you're just not in the mood. So there is someone here, okay? This four of wands for you is in the upright. This person wants to come in and flip it upside down. This is a past person. Or it could be a new person. Could be a feminine, could be a masculine, but there is someone that wants to come in and ruck your stuff up. But they better watch it. They better be careful because you will rule them with an iron scepter. They're stupid, book smart, but stupid. They're stupid for continuing to try to meddle in your energy and your business. King of Swords. Over. What's this? <laughs> he used to be a handsome man. Now no one looks at him. He blames you. It landed in the reverse. Don't trust those who fake it till they make it. They will always be fake. Is at the bottom. I'm going to put it with this King of Swords. Mm -mm -mm. There's someone that feels very unattractive here. Could be this King of Swords, could be this King of Pentacles, or even this Queen of Cups. But these cards are all in the upright. I did start the reading off complaining about how big my ass looked. So this could be something similar like you know someone's just a little frustrated right now hmm. but they're blaming you see i don't blame anybody from i was born with a big butt it's just what it is someone blames you for being for feeling the way that they do someone works too much and they spend too much money they're not a good match so you've got options this almost feels like another test like spirit is testing you one last time to make sure that you're absolutely ready for this high level um, companionship that's coming through for you. It's not going to be, I don't know, I'm starting to get a little bit sidetracked over here. Something's going on right here. What is this shit? No king is saved by his army alone. No warrior escapes by his great strength. Someone needs your strength. They need your energy. This could be both. Or, yeah, a group even. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. The world. Corrupt politician, local politician. You are wicked to the bone, yet hide it well. One day you will be seen for who you truly are. He wants you to be fat so no other men will be attracted to you. So there is someone here that could be in politics and or this could be a, a global situation where there are, there was some funky ass news coming out of the, uh, the uh, Congress or whatever it was with this video. These people are doing the most. That's what I know. And they are being seen for wicked. And it's coming to an end. This is a global scale here, though, even though this says corrupt local. Nothing, nothing's local anymore anyway. I'm not going to go off on my political tangent. But there is no such thing as local politics anymore. Everything is operated under the beast system globally. Okay. Queen of Cups. Hmm. 
You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. This card did fly over here. I'm using it to clarify the Queen of Cups. So this can kind of go both ways, but this does feel like this is another energy separate from yours that has tried to sabotage you, but they're being seen too for who they are and they will have to watch you in all of your glory. They can do what they want with their life, but they cannot do what they want with yours. People are finding out you're the wrong one to play with. And if they haven't, they will. Why is art here? Huh. Look at that. Your new business will be profitable in two years' time. You could be an artist. A maker. Your business will flourish. It's beginning to flourish. That's what this is. It's abundance here. So you've already gotten the gift or you're getting the gift and... How you use that gift moving forward is going to bring you this success with this new venture. There's a new venture happening for you. Many new ventures, adventures, King of Pentacles on the run. Who is there a King of Pentacles on the run? There are many people on the run. Last card, King of Pentacles. Actually, I'm going to do some final messages. Let's see what's, what's up with this King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. He works too much and spends too much money. Not a good match. Clarifying this King of Pentacles. Hmm. So you got a couple of energies here. Someone right now is not feeling too attractive. They blame you. There's someone else, or this could be the same person that spends too much money. They work too much. They're not a good match, and they could be married to someone that is uh Really going through some heavy addictive addiction issues. Review the contract carefully. There is a deception within the hidden clause. I do believe that I said that somewhere in this reading. Um, possibly that had to do with this two of swords here. Making a decision. Whatever information you need to have to make this the proper decision for any potentially new contracts that require your signature. God is going to show you everything that you need to know. So let's just end this with some final messages. Final messages from the guides. He regrets not loving you when he had the, had the chance. So this is a past person. To cross your path with bad intentions is to lose a day of light. Damn. We're just going to end that there. Churl. All right, you guys. I will see you soon in another video.